Hi y'all, welcome back to the Tiny Texan Cook's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making authentic Mexican food. We're going to be making pork carnitas along with Spanish rice. You're going to love it. Here in Texas, we have a lot of really good Tex-Mex food, but in addition to that, we also have some really fabulous authentic Mexican food. And today we're going to be making the latter authentic Mexican food called pork carnitas. The word carnitas in Spanish literally means tiny meats. So we're going to be taking some boneless pork ribs and I'm going to be chopping them fairly bite-sized small pieces. And I'm also going to be making some Spanish rice to go with it. It's going to be so yummy. Now because I'm going to be making the pork carnitas first, um, it takes about three hours for this to cook. So give yourself about three hours ahead of time. This isn't going to be a quick dinner by any means. Um, I'm going to give you the ingredients for the rice after the fact. But to start with, we've got two boneless pork ribs here. And you, the fat on these is good. It's going to help you with the cooking. So. Uh, we'll probably trim that off, but throw it in with the food anyway, just to give it a little more fat because fat's a good thing. And on that note, um, I also have a couple pieces of bacon here that I'm going to render the fat from, pull it out, let it dry, and then towards the end of cooking, throw it back in because bacon will burn if it cooks as long as the big pork pieces. I also have some unprepped vegetables here. I've got some carrots, a half of a large jalapeno, two large cloves of garlic, about a third of a large yellow onion here. And for the seasonings, I've got salt and pepper, cumin, chili powder, and some bay leaves. And here are the ingredients for the pork that have been all prepared. I've pulled out the fat from off of the pork ribs so that we can use that with the process with the bacon as well. And today I'll be using my tagine and I have a little bit of oil in there so that the bacon won't stick. So the olive oil um, is about heated on medium and it's ready to go. I'm going to drop in the fat and the bacon. The bacon um, I'm going to remove once it gets a little bit crispy. And this is just two strips of bacon which I've torn into pieces that will fit inside the tagine here. So now the fat has been rendered from the bacon, including these little bits of fat from the pork. We're going to remove all of this, and we're going to put this back into it towards the end of the cooking time. And now we're going to add our tiny pieces of pork into this bag. already beginning to brown.
going to add a little salt and pepper at this stage. Some cumin. As well as some chili powder. I wish y'all could smell this. Okay, and now that the pork is browned and seasoned, I'm going to add carrots, onions, jalapenos and the garlic on top and because I'm using a tagine I'm not going to mix these up at all I'm just going to put the lid on if you don't have a tagine you can use any cooking implement that has a lid on it but you do need to let it steam for a little bit and I'm actually going to add a little bit of water to this so that the bottom doesn't burn this is about a half cup of water And then because I didn't salt the vegetables, I'm going to add just a little bit of salt to the top of those as well. And here, I'm going to reduce the heat to low. Cover that and it's going to cook for about three hours. I forgot to add my bay leaves. <laughs> There you go. These are the ingredients you're going to need for the Spanish rice. I have about a cup of long grain rice. I also have some vermicelli here. Um, this comes in small little broken pieces. If you don't have these in your grocery store, you can just buy regular vermicelli or angel hair pasta and break it into small pieces. I am using some chicken bouillon you could use chicken broth if you'd prefer but again if you're going to be using chicken bouillon uh, make sure you account for the amount of salt in this so add less salt to the rice if you're going to be using chicken bouillon I'm also using Spanish rice seasoning um, this is available at my grocery store if it's not available at your grocery store use any kind of seasoned salt that you prefer I have about, I don't know what this is, about a quarter cup of chopped, uh, finely chopped minced onions, and I also have some hot sauce. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to need a little bit of olive oil uh, to brown the rice in. I've turned this burner on medium, and I'm adding some olive oil. And then I'll add the long grain rice. Create a little well where you're going to put the onions and let those cook for a few minutes that way. Once you've toasted the rice and the onions and you can begin to see a little bit of color on them, this is the point where you need to add your Spanish rice seasoning. Now you need to slowly pour in the three cups of chicken broth as you're stirring.
add about a handful or two, depending on how much you prefer, of the spermicelli uh, pasta at this point. Hot sauce is optional, but I like the color and the flavor that it adds to it. While we're waiting on the rice to cook, how good does this pork carnitas look? Doesn't that look yummy? Um, I'm going to just turn the heat off now, leave the lid on so it'll stay warm.